Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we, we are talking about Nora Cornell versus Jacqueline Cavacanti. Uh, let's see real quick. Let's go here. I think this is where it's at. Yes, it is. So you look at a Nora, Nora Cornell Wonder, her nickname, 8-1 overall, plus 160 underdog, which I think is a little bit interesting. 34 years old, which... In the women's division, 34 is not terribly young or old. 5'7 with a 67 inch reach, fighting Jacqueline Cavacan, who's 7 and 1. Minus 195 favorite, 27 years old, 5'8 with a 70 inch reach, 1 inch in height, and 3 inches in reach. Which is why I really like Nora Cornell in the clinching situation. Kind of how she defeated her last opponent, Melissa Mullins, who I did think had a speed advantage in that fight. Um, I, I, I but yeah, you know, again, I where I really like Nora Cornell in this matchup is um, up in close. Like I said, she finished Melissa Mullins in her last fight, knee to the body to, and, to, and, and a head kick, but also finish um, follow up shots is the word I'm looking for. Um, and again, I thought Melissa Mullins going into that matchup, she would have not necessarily a speed advantage, but I think she just moves a little bit more, does get hit a lot, but. In that one, it was just in close. She found a really good knee as Melissa Mullins was coming in and then finished her beautiful head kick uh, as well. A kind of a little bit of a shocking finish. Not, not that Nora could win, but the way she did it was very impressive. And then Jacqueline Cavacanti fought four weeks ago against Justin e. Nunez. I did not think that was a split decision fight, I gotta be honest. And then fought Zero Farron uh, a year ago. So two fights, both women, two fights in the UFC. Now, if you look at their matchup, go back to stats, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know why. Here we go. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. These are all sorts of out of out of whack. Lynn Perez. Uh, I guess they don't have this updated. UFC stats isn't updated. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Fantastic. Yes, let me refresh it. Let me see. Let me see. Mm. Okay, well, I guess it's not updated. Either way, Nora Cornell, again, I like in close, up tight, in close. Um, she has two wins in the UFC, one by finish, one by decision, seven finishes in her career. Again, uh, did some really good things against Melissa Mullins. Jacqueline Cavacanti, this is where it's interesting. Three finishes, four decisions, two first round finishes, two fights also in the UFC. Won both of them by decision, split decision, and her last one against Nunes. Again, the thing that I like with this one, nor can now, is Strikes landed per minute is 3.29. Accuracy is 59%. Absorbed is 1.26, so she doesn't get hit a ton. Her striking defense is 56%. Her takedown defense is at 50. And then you look at... I gotta type all these things in because it's not updated, which, again, thank you for that. Uh, fighters. Yes, go here. Thank you. Jacqueline. Okay. I guess let's do last name. Capacanti. What are we talking about here? Uh, Cavacanti. Uh, I guess let's type in her first name. Thank you. Jesus. Strikes landed per minute, 7.23. Accuracy is 55. Absorb is 3.03. Defense is 77. Takedown average, zero. Accuracy, zero. Takedown defense is 100%. So this is probably going to end up on the feet. And... I don't think necessarily that stats say it all because here it says Jacqueline uh, th uh, throws more and lands more. Where I think that's wrong is, yes, correct, she's probably going to land a little bit more, but I think Nora Cornell is going to have the more significant strikes. So, you know, that might mean that uh, Nora Cornell is able to uh, hurt her a couple of times, even if it's you know, slightly. I think those small moments in close, in the clinch, the more power that Nora, Nora Cornell does have is a what I think is going to be the difference. Now, if I'm correct uh, against Nunes, yeah, again, like I said, zero takedowns for either of them. 
but she significant strikes landed is 91 for Cavacanti. Cavacanti on her first one against Sarah is Farron, who is a striker who's going to just walk forward in good matchup in that sense. 126 significant strikes. So again, like it like it shows right here. I don't think you can see it because I didn't turn it back on. As you can see right there is, you know, she throws a lot. She throws a ton. You know, in fighting a girl like Nora Cornell, yeah, right there, Nora Cornell, doesn't land as much. Accuracy's a little bit better. But again, I just think she has a little bit more power. I think she has a little bit more pep in her step. So, again, I like Nora Cornell to win this matchup. I really think she does some good stuff. And that is say maybe she doesn't finish her, but I think she can win by a decision. Probably another split for Jacqueline Tavacanti. I like Nora Cornell. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. As always, peace.